Merhaba everyone. Um, I wanted to start out today's segment on um, completing what I was talking about earlier with weddings. So I wanted to start off by showing you a bracelet that my mom actually got when she was um, getting married. And they actually usually give it during the wedding ceremony. So what happens at a wedding ceremony? Well, usually the bride and groom, um, it, there's two different types of weddings. So the first one could be a religious ceremony, and the second one is like a civil ceremony. Um, some, it's nice because the couples get to choose which one their preference is. So you can choose one or the other with um, kind of whichever one you prefer. Some couples do both in the same day even, so that can make for a long day for their uh, loved ones. Um, the bride and the groom usually wear a red sash also during the ceremony, and what will happen is um, the bride will usually wear it as a belt, and people will clip money to it, um, and the groom will wear it differently, but he usually wears it as a sash in a way, so that's different. Oh, I forgot to mention with the bracelet, sorry to bring that up again. There it is. Look at how beautiful it is. Okay, um, so with the bracelet, actually the more that the bride gets, the more brace, sorry, the more bracelets she gets, the more wealthy usually that the couple's family is. So, um, that's another thing to bring into thought. And after the ceremony, there is also a reception, of course, there has to. <laughs> okay, there doesn't have to, but the family likes it, so, um, Usually at the reception, there's a lot of dancing. If you think traditional folk dancing is usually, it, it's usually included there. If you're imagining people kind of in a circle, you know, kicking their feet up in the air, that's one thing they do. And another thing is um, more modern types of dancing also. And even some, uh, some places will have belly dancers. So depending on how different um, and how interesting you want to make your reception. Some people choose to include belly dancers in their experience. So also when you're at the reception, um, gifts are a pretty common thought. So when you're thinking about gifts, they're usually for a Turkish couple getting married. It's usually pretty traditional. If you think of household items, that's usually common. And also um, money, again, as I said earlier. But uh, when you get out of there, there is the wedding car. And usually um, the wedding car is set up pretty differently than a typical American uh, wedding car because the American car usually will have a just married on the back and some cans flowing. But the Turkish wedding car is very ornately decorated. I know I've seen some and I can show you a picture in just a minute. But the one that I saw in particular was at a park, and they had the couple's name on the back with some stickers and um, hearts drawn on their back window. And they also had flowers and ribbons, and it was just very beautiful. And also, I know one thing on families' minds is who pays for the wedding, because obviously a wedding can be pretty expensive. So actually, it is the groom's family, traditionally, that um, will pay for the couple's wedding. So that's, that's something different. Um, and I wanted to share that with you. So that's all I have for now. But good luck, good luck.